Hi, my name's Steve. Uh, I'm from Yak Dock Plastic Kayak and Canoe Repairs. Um, I've been kayaking now for about five years off and on. Uh, before that I worked for about ten years in the plastics industry, and uh, which I'm now putting those skills I've learned to use fixing and repairing kayaks. It's unfortunate they do get a bit damaged, but um, what we're going to do with Spooled Magazine is I'll be doing a regular article showing you basically how to look after your kayak, how to do modifications, and various other things as they come along. Okay, so what we've got here is basically a, a kayak that hasn't had anything done to it. Um, what we're going to do today is put some uh, flush mounted rod holders in the back, and then uh, a couple of these railblazer uh, mounts in various positions on the kayak. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is putting a couple of these flush mounted rod holders in the back of this kayak. They can be used for basically storing rods, or you can use them when you're trawling. Um, they can be used for quite a few different things. The first thing you've got to do is make sure that your kayak has got enough depth to put one of these in. It's no good drawing holes, putting them in fine sticks out of the top about an inch, because I've seen it done. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is mark out where we're going to put it. Now I know these are going to fit in because this kayak's got a nice deep section in the back here. Where we're going to put these, we're going to angle them in towards each other from either side. So the first thing we're going to do is mark out roughly where we're going to put the hole, making sure that we've got enough room for the flange to fit as well between the, the seat, the cockpit area, the rear hatches or any other fittings on the hull. So what we're going to do is just look at that and then mark out roughly the centre of this hole. Always double check it. As the old rule says, mark it out twice, measure it twice and then cut it. It's a lot easier to take stuff out than it is to put it back in. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So now, is use the hole saw. Don't be afraid of drilling holes in your kayak. They can always be patched up. As you can see, that doesn't take long. And this hole, we're lucky with this hole, it's got a nice thick bit back here. Now that'll fit in, but you don't want it sitting like that. So, the next best thing is use a Dremel tool. Now with this, I can make the hole shape a bit like an oval, put a little undercut at the front, a little undercut at the back, and that's going to make that sit down nice and flush. It's a little bit of work, so I'm get into it. Actually, that's perfect. That is going to fit in there nicely. Okay, so we've got this sitting nice and flush now in the back. What we're going to do is drill a couple of holes for the screws. I'm using quite a small drill bit. This is only about one eighth, or um, probably three millimeters. What we'll do is just move this out of the way first. A little trick is don't drill them all. Drill the first one. Put a screw in it, then drill the rest. Now I must admit, I like using screwdrivers on kayaks, um, hand screwdrivers. You can use a screw gun if you're good with it, but uh, if you go too hard with it, you're going to strip it and then that hole needs to be welded shut or you've got to move it again. And in this case, we couldn't move it again. I'd have to weld the whole thing shut. So hand screwdrivers are always good to start off with. As you can see, it, it's not very hard at all. doesn't need to be done up tight, okay? It's not like metal. But we've got one in there, that's going to hold it in place so we can put the rest of the screws in. Always just pull the dags out of the holes or the uh, shavings. Now 
Now you notice I'm not putting silicon underneath this. I don't think there's any real need. Plastic against plastic, it, it seem, seems to seal up pretty good. You would only get quite a, a few drops of water go in through this, if any got in at all underneath. So, look, if you, it makes you feel more comfortable to put silicon underneath, by all means do that. Um, I don't see any real need for it. I don't use it on my own kayak. Not, certainly not in this case anyway. But that now, that's um, attached to the hole nice and firmly. So that's ready to put fishing rods in. Um, lights, you can put a, uh, a camera mount in there. Whatever you want to put in that, that's going to come up great. As you can see, it didn't take long to do. Um, probably all up about 10 minutes aside. And straight away you've turned a kayak that's uh, a bit awkward for carrying gear on into something that's um, going to work a lot better for you. Okay, we've got one side done. Now what we're going to do is put one in roughly the same position. The thing I like to do is just have a look at where the, the flange is in comparison to the, um, the cockpit area and try and line it up. Roughly, you know, it's not really important, but just for a look sort of thing. You want it to be pretty much the same. Like. Now that to me looks pretty good. I'm making sure the screw holes are in the same sort of orientation. I'm just going to line up. Check it a few times. It's much easier to take plastic off than it is to put it back in again. Okay, that looks good to me. What we're going to do now is change over to the hole saw. Stocking on a chicken's lip.